What if you were the embodiment of good old American virtues, of thrift and hard work and modest strength in hard, hard times? What would you be saying now, assuming you could talk? It's thrilling to see that, you know, these young kids out there, and it's thrilling to see that they have enough guts to actually take on the police. We are peaceful! <laughs> I think we're close to, or, or even Mayor Bloomberg says, you know, we're in the early stages of a revolution. If Mayor Bloomberg says that, I would tend to agree with him. I was kind of surprised with September 17th. I was reading about it. So, oh, okay, here's another group trying, you know, I wish them the best. And all of a sudden it just caught fire. And uh, they're still going like the hammers of hell. It's November 17th. It's the big two month anniversary of uh, the occupation of Wall Street. You know, during the winter, we were having hard months and, you know, we kind of subsided. And now suddenly everything's exploding, everybody's interested in it. and the jobless uh, have found a new life, a new lease on life with this movement. It will take these young people to really cause a new revolution that we need. People got to fight back, they got to get the politicians in order. There's a lot of robbery and bribery going on at the top of the levels. They got to clean the house like a coronet to me. It was like a dream. My tough old town transformed in a matter of weeks. Suddenly, love and revolution were everywhere. Even on the subway. And we welcome, and we welcome NYPD's finest, NYPD's finest, to keep peace on our trains. To keep peace on our trains. Officer. It felt like the whole city was in love, in love with Occupy Wall Street and sudden hope for change. We met at a soup kitchen, um, it was almost a year ago, and uh, we were both standing outside St. James at 73rd and Madison Avenue, and they didn't have enough room for us. Oh yeah, we're standing at the church waiting for the lady to come up and say sorry. I was like, oh my, you got to be kidding me. I'm a pipe fitter, yes, but because of the current uh, downward trend in building in New York City, I've been finding it very difficult to find employment. How's your morale? Morale is difficult some days. Some days it's good, some days it's bad. You can't feel sorry for yourself. And if you feel sorry for yourself, this entire system, they'll just eat you. They still, you, you can't let them suck the life out of you. And you just see so many people that have just totally given up. And that's the part that's, that's so terrible about this. That they don't even, they're not even looking anymore. A lot of us are in those dire straits right now. You can't survive anymore. I have to confess, I finally got a, part, a temporary job. And it's been three and a half years since I worked, so I'm kind of like adjusting. It feels so good to be tired from working. I'm actually doing audits for the Board of Education. They treat me well, so I'm like, thank you, God. So our, our group is energized by this movement, obviously. Occupy Wall Street has, has pumped a lot of energy into everybody's actions because there are a lot of, suddenly a lot of people are interested in finding the ways that the different movements can work together. It also means, however, that we're being pulled in many, many different directions, and it's more important now than ever to try and actually be focused on what, what are we really trying to do? Let's say we could do anything we wanted to do. Well, what do we want to do? What is our objective? 99ers with the 99%. Anything that's associated with our working group, that's paramount. 
I go to Wall Street, occupy Wall Street every day. I see everything. I don't need some extraneous, oh, I'm meeting at 1.30, I'm meeting at 2.30, I'll be there at 3 o'clock. I can't make it, I gotta do this, I spread it. I don't need that shit, I wanna go forward. We'd like to see a working group developed that deals with the biggest issue that our country faces right now. I wanna see our numbers grow, period. I wanna see some things like public projects where we can go to work and construction, build another Hoover Dam or something. I mean, Jersey boys over there stopped the tunnels. There was 8,000 jobs that were stopped right here. I think this is amazing. I mean, it's amazing to, to be with this many people who have this many ideas, this much enthusiasm, and try and tackle difficult problems, you know? It's, it's fantastic. Whether we can actually uh, go against the moneyed interests that is an entirely other question. We're gonna see, the minute men beat the British, maybe we can, maybe we can make a difference. We're not even included in the Jobs Act for job retraining or for any type of extension. I'm sure it's an oversight on the team who put that Jobs you, you're Act You're gonna be together. included now because these protests are opening up doors. We're gonna get results because the people are speaking and if they speak loudly and clearly they will Get a response. And thank you for holding on, okay? Like fresh air to me. <laughs> Should Occupy Wall Street demand jobs for all? Absolutely, you betcha. Only if Occupy Wall Street wants to be relevant to the needs of the mass of people. Because while we talk about the Great Recession elsewhere in America, the real depression exists in black and brown communities across this country. There are young men who never have and never will enjoy employment in the above ground economy. That's why this demand for full employment, regardless of immigration status, regardless of criminal history, is so important in particular to the black and brown community. This is an army, an army, a vast reserve of millions of people ready to come out and fight. And there's really hope now that we can turn the horror of unemployment into the explosion that can finally tear this system apart. Thank you. I think it's very important to take the position of a job at decent wages as a human right. So I think that there needs to be that kind of commitment uh, to start with. Uh, then also, I think that we need to talk about how effective and efficient direct job creation is. This is a great opportunity to have our voices heard because along with all my other American 99ers, I truly believe that having a massive public works services program is something amazing. So should Occupy Wall Street demand jobs for all? That's a rhetorical question.